George Norcross, the once mighty Democratic power broker and kingmaker who wielded considerable political influence in New Jersey for decades without ever holding elected office, was charged with racketeering in a bombshell indictment on Monday, RadarOnline.com has learned. The 13-count indictment accused Norcross, his lobbyist brother Philip, and several other allies of illegally obtaining property rights on the Camden, New Jersey waterfront, collecting millions of dollars in government-issued tax credits, and influencing government officials through threats and extortion. The indictment unsealed today alleges that George Norcross has been running a criminal enterprise in this state for at least the last 12 years, New Jersey Attorney General Matt Platkin said in a statement, per The New York Times. On full display in this indictment is how a group of unelected, private businessmen use their power and influence to get government to aid their criminal enterprise and further its interest, he added. Platkin said Norcross told a developer that he had to relinquish waterfront property rights or he would retaliate and prevent any future business in Camden. When the developer would not relinquish his rights on terms preferred by George E. Norcross III, he threatened the developer that he would, in substance and in part, F, you up like you've never been F, up before and told the developer he would make sure the developer never did business in Camden again, the indictment read. Norcross longtime personal lawyer Bill Tambussy, former Camden Mayor Dana Redd, trucking company CFO Sidney Brown, and residential developer John O'Donnell were also listed as defendants in the indictment. Although Norcross has long been the subject of scrutiny by law enforcement, including a federal investigation in 2016 and a task force formed to look into the operations and procedures of the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, he had never previously been formally charged. Norcross, whose other brother Donald is currently serving as the United States Representative for New Jersey's 1st Congressional District in South Jersey, is an insurance executive who was previously a member of the Democratic National Committee. When the indictment was announced on Monday afternoon, Norcross was sitting in the front row. He told reporters that he had no comment on the indictment, but I will later, 